Oh, John Kenny, thank you so much for that. Last night we had tears in the studio. Tonight there's a, a sense of disbelief of what did we just witness? <laughs> I think Andy doesn't actually believe it. that he's, he's gone and done it. it. Yeah, he's won an Olympic gold medal. <sighs> What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? See it? We were watching, we were watching, we were watching, we are looking at his legs underwater, watching. Where are the legs? Where are the legs? Where are the legs? And then with about 125 to go, 125 metres to go, bounces off the wall, pa pa pa. See yeah. you? Oh, I was slapping my leg as hard as he was kicking. Uh, you were also slapping the person <laughs> who was standing beside you, unfortunately, her leg also. But who's as a plenty girl on your feet? I was it, 600, 700s of a second, down is, over 800 yeah. metres. Come on, Daniel. He probably he panned that. He probably speech. panned. Told you to sit on the edge of your seat. <laughs> you weren't even sitting down. He oh, had a, it here. was very well. He just, it was a perfect race. He couldn't have asked for better. Olympic gold. Olympic gold. Olympic gold, yeah. Olympic gold for Daniel Whiffen, for Ireland, for Armagh. <laughs> yeah, speechless is what it is because you were watching it. You, you told us that this is a cat and mouse race. You said that that's what his coach yeah. from Larne told uh, you about yeah, and about, yeah. about the invisible elastic. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the yeah, elastic yeah. can't get too far ahead. Yeah, and he did it. He reeled them in. And it was, there was just so many times he even led a little bit and we're like, right, 200 to go. And then you've seen that the... Because at the start, we were like, right, he's breathing to his left, he's keeping his eyes on the American, and the Australian, what, what, was, he, what was he thinking? He just went out nearly one and a half seconds under yeah. the world record pace. And then he just faded. He was gone. Never mind, good day. He was gone. And then next minute, it was like... Chinesium wasn't really in I'm it. so sorry. I'm going to just interrupt you for a little while because it is brilliant hearing from you, but it's been a long time since we've heard from an Olympic swimming champion from Ireland. So why don't we do that now? Here, live from Paris is the Olympic champion in the 800 metres freestyle, Daniel Whiffen. Daniel, you're the Olympic champion. How does it feel? I mean, amazing. I mean, what's my name? Sorry, Daniel Whiffen, Olympic champion. Oh, man, sorry. It's really good. I can't believe it. But to be fair, I can't thank anybody else other than my brother, Nathan, and my parents, and my whole coaching staff in Loughborough, and the Irish team. <laughs> I couldn't do it without anybody, and uh, it's definitely not, I'm not alone out there. That was such a good effort. <laughs> Tell us about the race. It was an incredible race. We knew from a long way out that you had a medal, just not sure what colour. Tell us about what was going through your mind in those closing stages. I'm not going to lie, I'm not sure you can see me looking, but I was looking for Bobby Fake the whole time. I was like, I get caught last 50. I've been practicing the whole fucking year for this. I will not get caught last 50. So I was just looking, looking over, looking over, and I saw that I got a body up, and I was like, oh, this is over, I've won. An Olympic record as well. Yeah, I know, pretty crazy. I mean, it wasn't that fast of an Olympic record, but. I know another one tied to the box. I think I'm, I've won everything so far. I've won double world champ, European champ, and now the Olympics. And uh, now I can say that I'm probably one of the best ever, so it's just even better. Absolutely. Congratulations, Daniel. Go and collect your medal. Thank you. Oh, brilliant stuff. Take, take us through. You kept talking about it as you were watching it. Initially, early on in the race, the concern was, because the Australian had gone out so quickly, you felt that Daniel was looking to one side because he was looking out for Bobby Fink, the yeah. Olympic champion. And you, you were fearful that perhaps he wasn't aware of the danger happening on the other side.